Hello, Interior Alaska. Joe Cook here in the sports seat for you for some Wednesday sports action. Your Fairbanks Ice Dogs have come out of the gate strong this morning in Blaine, Minnesota in the NHL showcase. The Ice Dogs came back to win 4-1 over the Springfield Junior Blues. The Ice Dogs trail 1-0 going into the first intermission, then erupted with four unanswered goals, including three in the second period alone. Victor Lilligren led the Ice Dogs with two goals and a helper. Doug Rose and Colton Walter both had two assists. The Dogs outshot the Junior Blues 38 to 13. Patrick Munson shut the door after the first period goal with 12 saves. Fairbanks has scored three goals in a single period in each of their first three games. The Ice Dogs are 3-0. The last time they won their first three games was the 2005-2006 season. The rookie Lilligren has four scores in three games to lead the squad. Next up for the Fairbanks Ice Dogs are the Sioux Eagles tomorrow at 1:30. Two undefeated volleyball teams, Monroe and Hutchinson. Someone had to lose. The Rams beat Hutch twice in the West Valley Invitational, but this third meeting goes in the wins and loss column. Would the third time be the charm for Hutch? Well, the first set was an indication. The Hawks were solid with the 25-19 win. Monroe had more errors than kills to start things, but Monroe fought back in the second, jumping out to an 8-1 lead. Then Marissa King went off with three straight kills to lead Monroe's 25-22 second set win. The Rams would not look back, winning the next two sets. 25-13 for the 3-1 win in Boylu Hall. The Rams had nine aces, four of them from Emily Fister, who had 12 kills, and so did King. Monroe is 6-0 and 3-0 in the Aurora Conference. Hutch is now 4-1 and 2-1 in conference play. Head coach Linda Bodie said multiple players were struggling at the same time. We can do all right if one or two struggle. And we, we've got, we, we can uh, take care of that. But when more struggle and key players on our team do that, then we're going to have a hard time. And it, we're going to have a really hard time with Monroe because they're, they're a top team. It says that we really like, know how to show like, the effort and like, we don't give up even though we beat them and we're not cocky. And we know that like, they're a good team and that we need to work hard. We came out flat. I mean, I, girls' anticipation kind of got them. I just told them, I said, we got to weather these storms. If we do that, then we're going to be fine. And we just kept attacking, and that's, that's all we did. And there was another volleyball matchup on the west side of town last night. The West Valley Wolfpack took on the North Pole Patriots at home and the MAC Conference opener for both squads. It was back and forth early on between the two teams. But West Valley got some separation and would win the first set 25-15. West Valley would get a tough sweep of the Patriots winning set two, 27-25, 25-23 in the third. The Wolfpack overcame 39 errors for the win. Jessica Rice was on point with seven kills and 10 blocks and no errors to lead the Wolfpack. Combining with Audrey Freeman here for an incredible rally, that looks like an I-5 nominee. Amanda Styers had 12 digs for North Pole and Megan Smith had a team-high five kills. The Patriots dropped two and three overall. West Valley is two and one and one and oh in the MAC. The West Valley Wolfpack got a season sweep of their rivals on Tuesday, barely. The Wolfpack won yesterday's dual meet 4-3 and also won their dual meet on August 27th 4-3. Yesterday, the Lathrop boys did the heavy lifting, winning boys number two singles, boys doubles, and mixed doubles led by the brother-sister duo of Rachel and Alex Jordan. They won 6-4, 6-4 over Harrison Alford and Catherine Sample, but West Valley had a stud in the ladies. West Valley won both girls' singles matches and girls' doubles. Jarrett Lee, seen here, won 6-1, 6-1 one over Lathrop's James Kardashian and boys number one singles. Lee's a sophomore is the joker or Federer of the interior if you will. He hasn't lost a match in two seasons. However, this year he feels his team is improved as well. Um, I've been playing pretty well throughout the year um, and we've been doing pretty well as a team too so it's been a good year so far. I just think that we are a lot better as a unit. I think we're playing together a lot better as a team. I definitely think we have the team that can do well at state. Um, I think we have solid players at every position, so yeah, I think we can do well. And we end tonight with this week's Pro Football Challenge winner. And this week's winner is Mark Opie from North Pole. Uh, Mr. Opie, someone very close to you knows why I did that. Mark gets a free oil change from Stanley Nissan. Mark got 14 out of 16 picks right and had Seattle with 28 points. The Seahawks won 29 to 3 over my 49ers, but hey, they all have to come to Candlestick in December for the rematch. That's all I'm going to say about that. And through two weeks, two North Polians, if you will, have won the PFC. Gary Bodette from North Pole is tied for first with Jiggity in the rankings. Herbs is tied with 11 others for second. I'm tied with 33 people 
with 22 right picks so far, but Mike Schultz has a slight lead at 23, and Fred Brown has 20 picks right. And a final note, the Galena Monroe and Galena Hutchinson volleyball games for tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday have been canceled. Galena will not be traveling this week. These games will be rescheduled at a later date. And that's it for sports. Mike Schultz has your weather coming up next, and we'll catch you next time. Hey everyone, welcome back 